Batman Countermeasures. Subject, Dead Man. Boston Brand is essentially a spirit, a wraith, capable of possessing any living being. He is intangible, invisible, impossible to defeat if he should turn evil. Fortunately, I do know of a summoning ritual that can bring him forward so he can be detained. Or, if the ritual is performed inaccurately, he will fade away into nothingness. Subject, Etrigan the Demon. One would think the simplest plan of attack would be to attack his human form, Jason Blood. But when Merlin bound Etrigan's being to his, his mortal form became eternal. He does not age. He cannot be harmed. The demon, however, has many weaknesses. Holy water, the Catholic crucifix, and even holy ground. Though truly holy ground is rare, especially in Gotham. Subject, Gentleman Ghost. Who you gonna call? Batman Countermeasures. Subject, Captain Adam. Captain Adam may very well be one of the most difficult foes I would have to face in this situation. He's extremely strong, extremely durable, he can fly, he can absorb energy, he can create matter. No need to eat, no need for air. He has even demonstrated atomic transmutation powers. He's also proven invulnerable to most magics. If he had to be taken out, a last resort would be piercing his Delastel armor. Though that would almost definitely result in a statewide catastrophe, if not larger. Another option would be to take advantage of his involuntary quantum jumping. If Captain Adam is to absorb too much energy at once, he is sent hurtling through the time stream. It would take care of things here and now, and Captain Adam would be someone else's problem. Batman countermeasures. Subject, Fire. With her powers, Fire has many abilities at her disposal, but they all come with one caveat. She needs to be a flame for them to work. I have been working on an experimental retardant that I believe should extinguish her flames, at least temporarily, while she can be dealt with. Subject, Guy Gardner. Guy has always been cocky, even for a Green Lantern. So cocky, in fact, that he often lets his guard down. In one of those occasions, one solid punch will be enough to take him out. I've done it before, and I wouldn't mind a chance to try it again, if if the situation should arise, of course. Subject, Ice. Ice is not one to be taken lightly. She was one of the only members of her Justice League still on her feet after their run-in with Doomsday. Her cryokinesis can make her very tricky to deal with. I'm not sure my thermal insulated suit would be enough. If potentially she and Fire could be turned against each other, one of them would take care of the other and I would only have to deal with whoever's left standing. Batman countermeasures. Subject, the Cyborg. I'm not sure that an EMP would work on Cyborg's apocalyptian technology, but it's worth a shot. In the worst case situation, however, I did upload a virus to Cyborg on the day I first met him, just in case. Subject, Beast Boy. If Garfield ever did decide to take himself seriously, he could be a real threat. He has been found on multiple occasions to be highly vulnerable to hypnosis. Even with my rudimentary skills, it should be enough to bring him down. Subject, Raven. An exploitable weakness of Raven is her dependence on her incantation, Azarath, Metreon, Zinthos. If a gag were to be placed over Raven's mouth and she cannot recite the incantation intelligibly, she cannot connect with her powers until the gag is removed. Subject, Starfire. When Cory was a slave, she was addicted to drugs that were forced on her by her captors. I believe that if those drugs are reintroduced into her system, she would become addicted all over again. Batman countermeasures. Subject, Robin. While it would cause me tremendous emotional difficulty to take down any one of the Robins, all of which whom I have viewed as my sons, should they turn evil and leave me no choice, crowbars have proven quite effective in the past. Batman Countermeasures. Subject, Dr. Midnight. If members of the Justice Society were to turn evil, Dr. Midnight could be one of the most dangerous among them. He'd be the only one with enough foresight and tactical prowess to have files like these, so he should be taken out quickly. Fortunately, he's not much of a fighter. If he's away from his allies, get those goggles off and he is blind in daylight. Simple to take out. Subject, Dr. Light. Testing has shown that she requires a light source to power her abilities. If she were to be locked in an area of complete darkness, it would cut her off from her abilities. Psychological evaluations also show she suffers from nyctophobia, a fear of darkness. Subject, Dr. Occult. While these magic types can be hard to deal with, Dr. Occult does have one major weakness. It's a life-sharing pact he shares with his wife, Rose Psychic. It means they share each other's pain and injuries. Should one of them need to be taken down, the other would be the key. Dr. Occult has also proven to be quite the Luddite. His lack of understanding of modern technology could also be used against him. Batman countermeasures. Subject, Dr. Fate. Kent Nelson is an accomplished magician and crime fighter, but Kent Nelson isn't Dr. Fate. Take that helmet off and he's just a man. I have personally witnessed that his invulnerability does not protect him against gas attacks. I have also seen that after long battles and powerful spells, Fate's power is depleted and he needs time to recharge. If I could recruit strong enough allies to withstand his attacks and draw his fire, I will find the opening to use knockout gas and remove his helmet. 
helmet, thus removing the threat. Subject, Booster Gold. Booster's future tech is still just that, tech. A localized electromagnetic pulse will take care of any defense he had. Subject, Vixen. While removing her totem is easier said than done, it will take away her access to her power, and is easily within my capabilities. Batman countermeasures. Subject, King Shark. Like every shark, King Shark has developed a keen sense for blood, but when clouded with rage, his senses could be his own downfall. Subject, Killer Frost. Frost will die unless she regularly absorbs heat. This extends to areas of extreme cold for too long. Simply put, lock her away in a freezer with no heat to absorb until the situation takes care of itself. Subject, Deadshot. Floyd Lawton has one known weakness, and it's his daughter. Any situation involving his daughter, he will do the right thing. If his mind is to the point where he doesn't care for her anymore, any countermeasures for dealing with non-metahumans should suffice. Subject, Live Wire. Her stored electricity will short-circuit and at least dissipate if she gets wet. Subject, the Condiment King. I don't know. The guy shoots ketchup. Bring a napkin. Batman countermeasures. Subject, Metamorpho. Rex Mason is an extraordinary metahuman. He can transform any part of his body into any element, solid, liquid, or gas. He can even combine these elements into noxious chemicals capable of rendering someone unconscious. Or worse. Should Metamorpho become corrupted, I would have to rely on his one known weakness to take him down. The Orb of Ra. The Orb of Ra is what gave Mason his powers. It also weakens him, very similar to the effects of Kryptonite on Superman. The Orb's whereabouts, however, is unknown. This is something I should look into. Subject, Katana. Katana is extremely proficient in hand-to-hand -hand combat and as a swordswoman. The first act would be to disarm her and then maybe I stand a chance at taking her down. However, if I am fighting her because she's turned evil, then there's a chance that she's already cursed because of the blade and disarming her may be enough to break that connection. <laughs> Alright, worm food. Batman took the night off, so you got the main man. Lobo countermeasures. Subject, Blue Beetle. Who? Ah, oh, whatever. Look at this twerp. Cave in his fracking skull. Subject, Superboy. Well, the S on his chest tells me he might be trouble, but, uh... I'm gonna cave in his fracking skull. Booster Gold. Oh, uh, this twerp? <laughs> I'm gonna punch him in the dick, and then I'll probably cave in his fracking skull, the bastard. Well, ain't you in for a treat. I got time for one more. Black Canary? <laughs> Wear a pair of earplugs and, I don't know, cave in her fracking skull.